What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another one. We're out here in Macon, Missouri, Moberly. Got Rudy. <laughs> and Matt's up there. He's actually doing something for once, which is crazy. Um, give it a little bit. He'll be on his ass again. But uh, we're out here. We're going to plant a food plot at the lease we have here. We got a mix of, we got some sunflower, we got some buckwheat, we got some clover, we got, yeah, yo. But uh, anyway, um, Jesus. But we're gonna we're gonna get that planted. I got some White Tail Institute Conceal. That right there. What, conceal, I conceal carry because I got my conceal carry right here. Oh, oh yeah. And then we got a so bottle of glyphosate right there. What's and that's going to be to kill everything. That's a weed and grass killer. Oh. We're going to plant our seeds and then we're going to mow it because we don't have a cultipacker to uh, break all the stems off and break all the break everything down, lay it over. So we're going to cut it so it lays on top of our seeds to kind of give it a cover. We're doing a full no-till food plot. So um, none of the ground is going to get tore up. Uh, nothing's going to disturb it. We're going to try and keep our soil as healthy as we can. So we get as much germination as we can for, for these deer. Uh, we're gonna be planting in two different spots. We're gonna plant a big mix in the bigger food plot and we're gonna plant a mostly just buckwheat in the other one. And it's a lot smaller. And then we're gonna do a little bit of shooting of a rose and partake in some adult beverages. So. And some fishing. And some fishing. So we'll see you when we get to the food plot. We got a lot of stuff to trek over there. To yeet. Is this mine, I guess? I guess this will work. Yeah, the box is working. Oh, are you tired? Is Matt tired? What? No, it's right here. It's up here. I promise you it's right here. Oh, I lied. I, I thought it was right there. So this is our food plot. Before. Before, this is the before shot. A lot of work to do, but we'll right get it here. done. Yeah, that's actually, an, I like that cedars right there. They make it clear, but there's the stand that was here. And then we got kind of clear over here, a little thicker field, and then cedars. I'm excited. I am too. Get a rolling. one. Well, the stuff's not gonna cut itself, boys. Come on. And it's dead. this tree and maybe this way about six feet with a strip just straight across okay let that grow tall so we have basically a food plot here and we almost have a staging for a staging to the big open field and then we could potentially hold deer in this food plot as well as holding deer in this food plot at the same time and hold more deer on the property so basically what we're what we're talking about is we're going to use this White Tail Institute can seal. It's, it's basically a whole bunch of, of grasses and a little bit of food that's gonna grow to about five to 10 foot tall. And basically, if you 
since we're only hunting, how many acres do you think these woods are? These woods are probably only about 20 acres, maybe that. So we got 15, 20 acres of woods that we're hunting and we have a lot of ag fields around us. We have a lot of, of food competition around us. So what we need to do with the small piece of woods that we have is be able to hold more deer, hold more bucks specifically. And the way to do that is to hide them from each other. So you can have bucks within the same hundred yards of each other, but as long as they can't see each other, they're not gonna run each other off. They're not gonna fight and they're gonna have their group of does and they're gonna stay with them. So the more does you can hold, the more bucks you can hold, and more specifically, the more herds of does, the more bucks you hold. So that's, that's the theory behind it. I've never used this before, but I've heard that it's good. Um, other stuff you can use is, is sorghum, Egyptian wheat, switchgrass. Um, those ones work just as good, um, but they're just a little bit more expensive. So we'll get this planted and then we'll talk about the, the mix that we're gonna plant after that, so. Whitetail Institute, if you're not using it, go yourself. Amen. Don't cut toward my hand, please, for the love of God. Oh, he almost did it. Super sharp bench mates. That's our mix right there. Yeah, because we want we want the the seeds to be protected by what we cut. Is basically the theory. So it mulches the grass that we cut mulches the seeds and protects it and helps them grow better is the theory behind it. All right, so here's our mix. So we have buckwheat. We have red clover in there. Another bag of buckwheat that just fell open. So we'll probably use this one. Some Milo. There should be some sunflowers in here. Maybe that was the sunflowers right there. Yeah, that's... When I couldn't read. SF. So, that would make sense for sunflowers. sunflowers. So, sunflowers, peas, milo, buckwheat, and clover. So we have four or five things that we're throwing out. Plus we just threw that cover out on the line. We're gonna plant this part, possibly plant a little bit down on the other half of that. And, and we're leaving some trees up to give them some cover, um, some scrapes, and then we're gonna go off to another spot and we're gonna plant all buckwheat. So, more time lapses. And usually the bigger seeds, are harder to germinate because more animals get to them. So your squirrels, your birds, all that'll get to them. So you want to almost overseed those because you're going to have less of a success rate just because they're not going to make it to their soil. Extra yummy. Looks like Pepto Bismo. Think they're barbecue flavors? I don't know. Try one. Get all the way down to the. I said follow the path for a second to see if the seed's coming out. Cause you couldn't see it from over there. What are we doing, buddy? Oh. So basically he's opening <laughs> up some glyphosate. Uh, it's a weed and grass killer. I don't know the exact measurements. So he's just gonna pour in a cup. Two shots of vodka. Yeah, it looks good. Or, I don't know, we're guessing. And then we're gonna fill it up with water. We're gonna dilute it. And then we're gonna spray it on this entire food plot. Rudy's over there cutting. He's cutting the food plot. And we're gonna spray right on top. And hopefully we're gonna have all the uh, dead grass laying on top of our seeds as a mulch, like I said earlier. And then we'll have a great food plot. Um, we may have fudged up a little with the seeding. My bad. Matt ran over the same spot like six times. And so hopefully there's enough seed in the middle. If not, it's just gonna be real heavy around the edges, which isn't a terrible thing, because we'll come in here in the fall and plant again anyway. But we'll see how far we get, and hopefully 
we have some germination and everything works out good. We're gonna get it done, we're gonna get it done quick, and we're gonna get to another food plot, and then we're gonna get to fishing, because that's way more fun than this, so stay with it. I'm at a loss for words just because of how funny this is to watch and I can't really do much but it's still funny to watch Jacob go 20 miles an hour through maybe three foot tall weeds and then the lawnmower dies and he looks at me like what happened but stay tuned it should be more comical update on the field cutting um, Something happened with the lawnmower, and Jacob has officially broke Tim's lawnmower. So, uh, sorry, Tim. He's no, gonna no, no, owe you a new lawnmower. So, while Jacob's doing all the hard labor, let's go ahead and have a little QA with the guys from JD Hunt. How are you feeling right now, Matt? Uh, probably should have gotten a brush all. It's gonna take a lot longer. But, I mean, as long as he's doing it. Yeah. Right? I mean, we got here. Exactly. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bush Light, for the farmers. Thank up. Here's to you, sir. exactly what you want to have to dig for your seeds and what that does is that keeps it all mulched in keeps birds from seeing it getting to it as easy keeps the squirrels birds everything and it's gonna put your seed closer to the soil and give it a better germination rate so uh, the better way is to have a clean weed free uh, soil when you're planting it first so planting buckwheat planting uh, any type of broadleaf that's going to cover the soil. Just having, if, if you're somewhere where it's an ag land and it's just straight soil that you're trying to get, get your uh, soil health back up or, you know, trying to get healthier soil, then you just throw it down and you just hope something grows on top of it. So what we're going to do in the other one is I have a 10 pound bag of the buckwheat. I'm going to plant that. It's May 31st, so it's a little late to be planting it, but by the time August August 1st comes around about middle of August. We'll spray it when we plant the buckwheat. That buckwheat, the leaves are so big, they're not gonna let any of the, the weeds underneath, they're not as many of them grow up. So you're gonna have clean, cleaner soil, you're gonna have more, more seed soil contact, and that's gonna have you a higher germination rate, which is better in the fall, because then you can get all of your, your, you know, your fall food your corn, your soybeans, your clover, whatever you decide to plant in the fall, whatever your mix is, you have that with a high germination rate. Uh, buckwheat's good because it can grow pretty pretty well in, in most pHs or in mo most soils. Um, that's why I wanted to plant Egyptian wheat when we were doing our screening. It, ha it can grow in very low pH. It's very soil tolerant, but it's also very expensive. The place I was gonna buy it from, it was 50 pounds. I only needed about 10 and it was $96 for, for the 50, 50 pounds. So I got that blend. It should work about the same. The only thing that I don't like about it is it has food in it. When you're planting your screening, you don't necessarily want food in it because you're trying to keep the deer from looking through, from seeing that screen, um, wondering what's on the other side. You wanna kinda of keep them away, keep them from wanting to interact with that. Whether it's screening for you to get to your blind, whether it's screening them from other deer, um, 
you know, whatever it is. This has a little bit of food, not too much, but like switchgrass, Egyptian wheat, um, those things aren't, aren't food as much. They don't like to eat them as much, especially here in Missouri. Um, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're on a budget, right? Matt's gonna finish up cutting here, or we're gonna spray, and then we're gonna head over that other field. So stick with it, and we'll see you at the next field. So we took a little break. It's hot. I mean, I guess let's go blues. We're a little out of it right now. A little? I can't barely see anything. My eyes are closing. It's about three o'clock. We haven't eaten yet, but we're grabbing some Burger King. We're gonna head back out there. We got like one or two more cameras to put up. <laughs> and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. Cause, Rudy, what the are you watching? oh Lord. <laughs> it's just, on, it's popping up on my Reddit. I'm like, what the hell is this? Guys, when I tell you there's a lot going on right now, <laughs> there's a lot going on. I'm getting very distracted very quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, we'll see you when we get back to the farm. Hey, let me see your receipt real quick. Because I think I probably didn't even order my food. <laughs> <laughs> there a 10 piece on there? No. Nope, looks like I'm going back. You got all the food. Let me get some. Matt, we're not eating until everyone has food. Oh, Whoa! Wait, did I see Don't worry, I found the curb. We're Don't back. Worry. <laughs> Don't worry, man, I'll get this one. <laughs> Just one moment. Thank you. Stop. We're not eating until everyone has food. I don't, I don't care to be honest with you. Give me my food. Give him gonna, his food before I gonna, have to shoot him myself. Are you going to ask nicely? Give me the fucking food I paid for. That's what I expected. Alright. He finally got it. <laughs> it only took two tries. Alright, we just got to find a nice shaded place to eat. Yeah, hospital looks good, right? Where the ambulances go. Actually, for real this time, we have all the food. We're going back. We're eating. Fuck. Trail cameras, fishing. Okay, so now we're on to field pl food plot number two. It's kind of right off of the field. It's green all along this. Right in here. To kind of shade it. Oh from my God. What? Oh. We're going to go back in there a little bit. I might just do here. Maybe come out a little bit more. Haven't really decided yet. So we'll get Matt over here, Rudy over here, and we'll start start going. So more, more, more.